hey welcome back to the lecture let's get started with stm32 scan peripheral and let's do some exercises now our first exercise is test can tx and rx functionality using can loopback mode now loopback mode means there will be only one can peripheral on the bus and so whatever you transmit uh, will be looped back to the rx so let's see how we can do this so before that okay it's always good so we go to the reference manual and explore about the st's can peripheral so let's do that now let me take you to the reference manual and in the reference manual i would suggest you to go to control area network so that's called as bx can so bx can stands for basic extended can so just click over there and this section uh, gives you full details on the bx can peripheral of the stm32 microcontroller and how to uh, handle it how to handle the transmission how to handle the reception what are the interrupts triggered by bx can and what are the features available like uh, acceptance filtering and other things okay now let's have a quick look into this peripheral i have some slides for you here bx can stands for basic extended can module handles the transmission and the reception of can messages fully autonomously standard identifiers and extended identifiers are fully supported by the hardware so what are the features of the bx can peripheral of st's microcontroller this microcontroller has got two can controllers one is called as can1 and another one is called as can2 okay now in st's design can1 is called as master bx can and all the other can controllers are called as slave so basically can2 is a slave now both supports that is can1 and can2 they support can protocol version 2.0 a and b okay so that means you can use this petrol uh, in uh, a standard can network also and extended can network also okay so it can understand all the frame formats now you can achieve bit rates up to 1 mbps this depends on your uh, clock period and other uh, clock related details okay so that we'll see later when we do programming three transmit mailboxes are available in order to transmit can messages so mailboxes means there is a transmit mailbox hardware which can hold one can message so at one time you can put three can messages in three transmit mailboxes and you can trigger the transmission now uh, the each peripheral has got two receive five force with three stages and 28 filter banks which are shared between can1 and can2 so about transmit uh, mailboxes uh, receive fifos and filter banks we will explore as we make a progress now now let's need not to worry about that so just this is for your information now let's move forward now what application can do with bx can so if you are an application developer on can then you can configure can parameters like the bit rate uh, bit timings etc now you can trigger the transmissions you can handle receptions so in reception you need not to worry at all anyway you will get an interrupt and go to the can isr read the pipe that's it okay so all the receptions filtering and uh, moving data to the pipe everything is taken care by the hardware so you need not to worry at all and uh, it actually has a couple of uh, interrupt requests so you can manage interrupts so you can get an interrupt whenever transmit is completed you can get an interrupt whenever reception is happened and you can also get an interrupt whenever uh, error happens okay so so just you have to manage those isrs that's it and get some diagnostic information of the can bus now we are going to do most of these things okay so i will show you how you can configure it to configure you have you have got a structure a data structure where uh, it lists all the configurable parameters the same way what you did for timers and other peripherals 